Hi guys, it's Barbara with Quartz Rose Tarot. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so that you notify when I upload new content. This reading is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Um, guys, I'm going to get your energy, and then I'm going to get into the energy of all 12 signs. If you're looking for my information to book a personal reading, it's in the description box below the video. So let's get it popping. What's going on for Scorpio? Hmm. So, get one more card. Okay. Scorpio, I'm, I feel like you're a little afraid. You feel like something's getting ready to pop off and you're seeing the signs and synchronicities, but it's a faded meeting. Something that's, you're seeing the signs and synchronicity, something's about to pop off. You almost feel like, feel it coming in the air, right? Like you might be a little afraid might be a little afraid right now because you feel you feel the energy shift you feel something's about to change right so let's see what's happening for Scorpio okay what do we got for Scorpio give me all 12 signs around Scorpio starting with Aries what do we got for Scorpio? You're dealing with an Aries. Somebody wants to, they want to come in and have a heart to heart communication in order to heal a situation. If you're dealing with a Taurus, you have a two of cups. Somebody may be back and forth about the partnership. If you're dealing with a Gemini, Gemini wants to speak the truth. If you're dealing with a cancer, so you could be at a crossroads trying to find some peace or balance or trying to be patient at a crossroads trying to figure out what direction to go in. If you're dealing with a Leo, you got a tower moment. Um, somebody needs strength because there's a tower moment here. If you're dealing with a Virgo, someone may want to manifest rushing towards you. They're manifesting rushing in. If you're dealing with a Libra, they want a victory, reconciling a situation. If you're dealing with another Scorpio, um, somebody's obsessed with communicating with you. If you're dealing with a Sagittarius, I feel like there's a choice between two and somebody's got to close out a cycle before that they can, before they can come towards you, Scorpio. If you're dealing with a Capricorn, they want to work with you or they work with you. So this person may want to work with you or they literally work with you. Okay. If you're dealing with an Aquarius. Oh, Aquarius wants to speak the harsh truth about the queen of wands. You've got the queen of swords, Aquarius, wanting to speak the truth, a harsh truth about the queen of wands. And if you're dealing with a Pisces, I feel like there's an opportunity to reconcile with a Pisces. Happiness is under the bottom of the deck. So let's get into this and see what's happening. Scorpio. Scorpio, you may have a fear of a faded meeting because you're seeing the signs and synchronicities. I feel like you feel something's about to change. Something's about to change. Change is in the air for Scorpio. What's happening, Scorpio? What's happening for Scorpio? What's happening for Scorpio? Relationship. There's a relationship drama. There's a lot of relationship drama. It's been going on for a long time. It's causing you a tower moment. And you're at a crossroads about closing out the cycle. You have a 10 of cups from the past. It could be a past love. It could be a past life soulmate. It could be somebody you've known your whole life. Take it how it resonates with you. But you have the four of wands here and a new beginning. Moving forward. Empress energy. Okay. So this is about you breaking off, breaking free, closing out cycles, ending things to start something new. This side's about you starting something new. 
King of Swords wants to emotionally communicate about some deception. So you have a King of Wands here, Aries Leo Sag, wanting to come in and offer their cup. But you could be a little discontent. You could be feeling like you're missing the opportunity for your wish fulfillment under the bottom of the deck. So um, don't get caught up on the King of Swords. I feel like the King of Swords is this side and the King of Wands is this side because the King of Wands would be the emperor in a lower vibration. So you're, yeah, destiny's coming. Fate's coming. It's meant to happen. You may have some fear because you've just dealt with the King of Swords and some deception. And you're just kind of over this. There's just a lot of relationship drama for a long time. So manifesting a relationship. But there was there was a lot of dra drama with competition. And somebody may have had sexual addictions. They may manifesting sex. They, this person, the drama in the relationship is this person was constantly manifesting sex with other people. Um, you know, it happened for a long time here, right? third parties and the tower moment, this is causing an ending to the relationship, right? You were at a crossroads trying to communicate, emotionally communicate, but you gave up. You're, you're here in the queen of pentacles mode. This is you in the queen of pentacles mode. Empress in the minor arcana. You closed out the cycle. Enough was enough, right? You may have, um, your wish fulfillment is a family situation. And, you know, you felt very betrayed by somebody from your past. But here comes this relationship, the four of wands. But you're thinking in your head, is this person going to be playing mind games and manipulating me as well? Am I going to deal with the same nonsense over and over? You're trapped in your head telling yourself, am I going to have to deal with the same nonsense as I did before? But no, you have a new beginning with a two of cups. You have a new partnership coming towards you, Scorpio. Something moving forward to something long-term and committed. Empress energy. This is because you're in fight mode. So you're not going to play games with anybody. You're not going to take any shit off of anybody. This is not what's happening here. This is you in fight mode saying, look, I'm not playing no games. And you either come at me correct or don't bother me at all. Right? So, but you do have a king of swords wanting to emotionally communicate about the deception. There's communication of a new beginning here, wanting a victory. But there's a tower moment, right? Because you're, you're pre-empress energy. You're not playing. You're not playing. They want to communicate all of this to you, but you're, 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 you're dissatisfied with that. I do see you having a uh, king of, of wands coming towards you. And I feel like this person is offering their cup. But again, I see dissatisfaction in your face here. This also could be a missed opportunity. But you're, you're thinking this one through to try to move it forward right? Because there's new love here and you're being guided in this direction. This is fate. This is like the temperance card faded meeting. This is fate. This is the angels guiding you in the right direction towards love, right? And you're very trapped in your head at the end of the day, your wish, you're, you're wishing for, you're hoping that this is the right one. So let's see what else we got. Um, I feel like you faded meeting is coming. I feel like you're over the past and all the hurt that you've gone through in the past because of somebody's serial cheating. Snake. Yeah, there's a snake here. This person could be at a distance or you're setting boundaries being single. Right? You're letting go. You're letting go of all of the bullshit. You're letting go. You have a soulmate under the bottom of the deck coming towards you. What else does Scorpio need to know? What else does Scorpio need to know? Use your intuition, Scorpio. Pay attention to the red flags. Be patient. Be patient. Use your intuition, right? Scorpio, they're saying be patient. Use your intuition, water signs, right? Let go of what doesn't serve you. Let it go. Let go of the past, right? <laughs> Let go of the air sign. <laughs> you got Gemini, Libra, Aquarius here. Let go of the air sign. Let go of the air sign, right? You have somebody else coming in that's going to communicate 
with you about a commitment. Give it time. Give it time. So I feel like they're telling cut and dry. No ifs, ands, or buts about this. They're saying release your past because you've got something better coming towards you in the future. You know, this this is a soulmate that's going to bring you long-term commitment here. You got love coming in, Scorpio. You got the love, right? Hard work, you know, any kind of anything worth having is going to, you're going to have to put the work in, right? You're going to have to put the work in for the stability, working on the stability, right? Um, I feel like there's trials and tribulations and everything. So just be, just be focused on what you, because I do see with wisdom, you've gained a lot of wisdom and maturity from all of this. And I feel like it's going to, um, it, you're going to have, you're going to have good luck here. You're going to have good luck here. So, guys, that's all I have for you. If that resonates with you, please leave me a comment down below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I hope everybody has a blessed week.